Well, my friend and I flipped this over. This is the first time I'm getting a good look at it from this view. Uh, and honestly, it looks bigger than I thought. It actually looks bigger than it did from the other side. So for right now, I already cut a plank of 1x12 to put at the bottom. Uh, That's where the seats are going to go. Then we're going to load it up on the truck and take it to the water for a test. All right, so here's a better view, and you can see it is, uh, it's actually quite bigger than I thought. This, uh, I didn't really think it was going to be this big, and it's quite wide. Um, this board down the middle is a 1x12. That's what I'm going to mount my seats to. Right now, I have it mounted temporarily. And you can see there's only three, there's uh, basically two frames, the transom and um, the, uh, the keel frame in the, in the front there. Uh, and that keel frame doesn't even go all the way down the keel. So it's actually quite a minimal boat and let's take a look at it from the side here. You can see that beautiful uh, rock shape that bending the boards put right into it. Um, let's take a better look over here. You can see there's some cleanup I've got to do. Uh, there's some uh, mold in here since I had it flipped over upside down. Moisture got, uh, got trapped in it. Uh, you can see, if we take a look at this one right here. You can see where I had to, uh, this one's almost perfectly straight. This one you can see that it's nicely beveled to match. And you can see there where it's beveled to match. Uh, all in all, it, it's very, very nice. I'm surprised it's this nice. Let me back it up a little further. Uh, there you go. You can, you can get a good look at what it looks like from this angle. It is a, a pretty little boat, and man, is it a lot bigger than I thought. You can uh, see that. But I'm excited to get this in the water, and that's where we're going to next. It's going to be an uh, interesting experience. I'm very excited, and you're coming along. De este lado no lo puedo dirigir mucho. Presentamos. Así. Pasamos y. No por el peso, pero por. The boat weighs, I think, about 80, maybe 90 pounds. Two people can carry it, as you saw in the video. But you can see she is barely in the water. Check, the transom is barely in the water. You can actually see just the end of that strake. You can even see the strakes right there. And the bow, also barely in the water. That's the wind pulling it away. You can see the strake there, and the strake there, and she moves. Look how nicely it moves through the water. My friend Jose is pulling her along very little wake 
Um, this is going to be nice. I can't wait to put a motor on this and, and give it check a try. out the amount of rock in the boat. Uh, where the seats are located, I think it's a perfect mounting height. This is very nice. I think I'm going to finish with the deck and make it a runabout style. Yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, that's that's sexy. If boats can be sexy. This one is almost there. I'm gonna take it back to the shop, paint it, paint the bottom about three inches down from the um, the gunnel, and we are going to finish it up, put a deck on it, and I think I'm gonna turn this into a, a nice little runabout. It's gonna be very very nice. Well, there you have it. She's in the water. She floats beautifully. Uh, it's a uh, it's a great. Uh, alleviation to see it floating and so stable. It's actually much nicer than I thought it was going to be. I am quite impressed. I think I hit a home run with this uh, boat design. Remember, I did this in the backyard. No frames, no plans, no experience. Just put it together with a little bit of uh, general know-how and she sits beautiful. It's enough for two passengers. I honestly think it'll hold three, but I'm going to put a motor on it. I'm thinking maybe 10 horsepower. And you can check it out. Look at the chine. The chine is barely in the water. So those straights are really going to do a lot of work when we're moving. The nose, with me sitting down and uh, I'm a bit over 200, the nose is barely in the water. Check out the end of the transom. This sits beautiful. You can see she is surprisingly stable. I didn't think I'd be able to stand in this boat, but I am impressed how stable it is. It's going to be great. I look forward to finishing this boat. Um, I hope you do too. I'm going to post videos on this. Thank you all for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, share this video, and subscribe to my channel while you're here to stay up to date on all my future videos.